Hi and welcome back or welcome to my All The Perfume YouTube channel. In today's video I'll be reviewing Eilish by Billie Eilish. So I must admit, compared to some of the celebrities whose fragrances I have reviewed or own or really enjoy, I don't know an awful lot about Billie Eilish. I do know that she's extremely popular. I know that she's a singer, songwriter, I believe, and I did actually dance to one of her songs in my dance lessons about three years ago. It was a good song. But yeah, she's, she's not kind of, I've seen pictures of her, but I still can't quite picture what she looks like. But I do know there was massive excitement and buzz online about this fragrance. And I like that. I like to get excited about upcoming launches. So yeah, I was intrigued. Um, I had high hopes because I knew that she was a real fan of vanilla. And yeah, so I wanted this fragrance. I tried it and we'll get to it, but really liked it. So it went on my Christmas list and I received it for Christmas. So Billie Eilish has spoken about how passionate she is about fragrance. She's also said that unlike some other celebrities, she's not interested in beauty because she doesn't know anything about beauty. So she doesn't want a beauty line as well. Like, you know, Ariana Grande has her beauty line. Rihanna has her beauty line. She wants to keep it fragrance because she feels she really knows a lot about her fragrance. She says she's been passionate about it all her life. She's found it really hard to find the perfect scent and especially the perfect vanilla scent. So she'd also said that at one point she'd bought like seven or so fragrances online and just couldn't get it right until she came up with her own one. Um, yeah, she kind of gave a couple of examples of, of scents she'd worn as well. There was a Burberry scent that she said that she'd rubbed the label off of, so didn't know what it was, but it had quite bad memories. And then there was another scent that had really good memories. So for that reason, she couldn't wear it again. So I was quite, you know, I liked hearing about how fragrance really has been important to her. I felt this might be a bit of a passion project. And it took a year to make, apparently. And Billy had said that with her synesthesia, she has her senses kind of merge. So for her, she kind of sees scent, she sees color. So she wanted something that kind of smelt like amber to her because she liked, she liked the look of amber and wanted it to smell like that. And yeah, so lots to think about with this scent, a lot of excitement and passion behind it and we'll get into the notes. So now we'll give it a spray. And of course I will be talking about this packaging a little later on. Um, yeah, I've been looking forward to this. As I said earlier, I do really enjoy the perfume. Um, okay. When I smell this, it is cozy, spicy, definitely vanilla heavy, and it's inviting. It's that kind of scent that has me kind of breathing it in, wanting more, and I love it. Yeah, it was love at first sniff, I wanted it. My husband actually wasn't so sure on it. Um, and as I've said in previous videos, I know with my Empress review last time, sometimes when he doesn't like something, I'm kind of a little bit more intrigued. I'm like, oh, maybe it's one of my more quirky um, tastes. I really like it. And for me, this is a winter evening cozy scent. Um, I mean, you'd smell great if you were on a night out, but at the moment with where my life is at, I'm not out. I'm done for the day when I'm home. Um, tools down, come like nine, half nine, all the work is done. Maybe I've had a bath. Putting this on feels really good. Um, in the top of the scent, you've got sugar, red berries, mandarin orange. In the middle, there's that vanilla, there's spice. And I think it's vanilla and spice for me, this scent. They're the two prominent notes. A little bit of rose, and then, yeah, amber and musk as well. I think Billie Eilish's vision of it being an ambery kind of scent, looking like the bottle, that's how it kind of feels. It works as a piece. It, it kind of is that whole package. Um, I think it'd be a good statement scent, again for winter. Um, I really enjoy it and something I did know about this was that it would be fun to layer as well. So I'll get onto that in my next, in my next part. Um, yeah, I got it for Christmas. I love that again with the winter, the time of year, the cozy vibe. So yeah, I've really been enjoying this one and I feel like it's well done. Like, I mean, she could have had a more crowd pleasing vanilla scent, but with this I can't stop sniffing my arm. <laughs> um, with this spice that's in it, it's a bit more daring and I do feel like I was getting something different with it as well. So yeah, really enjoying it. So as I said, I knew this would be enjoyable to layer and I wore it last night and the first combination I tried was the very lovely Vanilla 28 by Kay Alley. And I had it on this arm and I felt like it was a, 
a meant to be combination. The effect was like boozy, quality, expensive. I just need to give this a sniff. Yeah, you will see from my Kayali videos how much I'm enjoying the scents and the layering of them. Yeah, it went really, really well with Eilish. Um, and then my second combination I tried was Vanillary from Lush. And this is a solid perfume. I had this on my other arm. And the effect it created with Eilish was more of a creamy, cosy, kind of buttery feel. Yeah, it had, it had a different, it kind of took this down a little bit, whereas Vanilla 28 kind of brought it up and made it much more of a statement. Yeah, I had fun with those. And then since thinking about those two, I've been thinking that Choco Musk by Our Rehab would go so beautifully with this. So yeah, check out my um, TikTok for more in that scent. I've, I've put a review of it on there. Yeah, I can't wait to try those two as well. So now we move on to the packaging. And I've actually left it till later on in the video to talk about this because as a fragrance, it's one of the more confusing um, concepts for me. I do like the bottle. I like the vibe and these golden browns, the colors, the fact that it's a statement. Um, I've kept the box. I mean, I knew I wanted to film a review, so that was part of my motivation, but I like kind of having it, like it's my Christmas present, it's exciting, but I don't display it. And even now my video, my video will be filmed, I don't think I will. Um, yeah, I like having it. I maybe don't like it as a perfume bottle, if that makes sense. Um, it's quite big. I mean, I get a little bit of a throwback to the Nicki Minaj perfume that I have, which, which is a bit smaller, which fits in more easily with my collection. Um, and also it has to be said, it's quite hard to, I mean, I'm, I'm particularly weak. Um, that's not the easiest thing to take off. You've got quite a basic, you know, bottle inside there. And then to hold it, again, I'm not the best example because my hands are small and I'm not good at opening things, but relative to the rest of my collection, you know, it's, it's not easy to hold. So yeah, that's my view on it, that I really enjoy it as a piece and, and what was kind of the vision, but in my collection, not so much. Um, in fact, I think even if this was my statement scent, I don't know. Actually, if you're a fan of Billie Eilish, you'd love having it, wouldn't you, out as a statement and on your dressing table. It would possibly look quite sleek in its own right, but maybe not for the collector. Yeah, so kind of conflicting views on the package in there. Now, my last main point is, is it worth it? Is it worth it to part of your money for this Eilish scent? And I say it would make a great gift for a Billie Eilish fan. I know our niece uh, turns 11 in March. Mm, actually, I'm, maybe I'm not so sure about this one for her, but I know she's a Billie Eilish fan. And I think a Billie Eilish fan would really enjoy having this in their collection. Um, as a fragrance lover, is it worth it? I actually think yes, because it's around 40 pounds at the moment for 100 millilitres. I know my husband was really pleased with the deal he got, so that's what he paid to get me the bigger bottle. Even though he knows I'm unlikely to get through everything, um, the value seemed really good compared to the 30 milliliter, which is around 30 pound. However, I kind of think both prices are good. Like I've seen worse, I've seen more expensive recently. So I feel that where there's that market where people probably would pay more, I'm kind of quite pleased that those prices were kept down. So of course, is it worth it, it does relate you know, to price, but as a fragrance, is it worth it? I think yes, it does feel like something different. It feels well done, statement, and you know what? I won't get this confused with anything else in my collection. Like, I love my vanillas at the moment. I mean, this moment has probably lasted about a year now um, with no signs of stopping, but this is distinctive. It's a lovely statement, winter scent, and yeah, I think if you're interested in it, you won't regret buying it, um, yeah but I'm not one for blind buyers at the moment. For myself, yes, I do blind buy perfume, so without spraying, without testing, but I don't really recommend doing that. Um, I think test this in a shop if you can, and um, I don't like being forced to blind buy either. I think all shops should have samples, so yeah. But this one, I think worth it, worth giving a try. I hope this review has been helpful to you. I hope it's helped you get a little bit more insight into what this scent is like. Please do comment if you want to know anything more about it, if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts. And yeah, I'm looking forward to trying her second scent actually. Not available in the UK yet. I did ask in a perfume shop the other day, but yeah, excited to try that one as it's got quite a heavy kind of pine outdoor feel to it. So that should be quite well done too. I also do like that black bottle, so yeah. Um, thank you, I am so passionate about fragrance. So please 
yeah, chat to me in the comments, give me a subscribe, follow me over on Instagram, on TikTok, my blog, and yeah, um, I look forward to seeing you in more videos and thank you for watching. Click, click.